Arunika and welcome back to my channel Arunika's Attack. So today we are going to study about Ohm's law. In 1828, a German physicist, George Simon Ohm's, derived a relationship between current and potential difference. The current, which is flows, which is flowing through any conductor, is directly proportional to the potential difference which is applied across its app is called Ohm's law. So now I will tell you about it in more detail. So here I is directly proportional to V. I that is directly proportional to V means current is directly proportional to potential difference. And we can also write it as V is directly proportional to I. Now here or we can also write V equals to R into I. Here what we have done for this sign, proportional sign we have used equals to and resistance. R is here resistance which is a constant term. Okay, so here one more V upon I equals to R. Where V is the potential difference. V is the potential difference. I is the electric current. Electric current. And here R is the resistance. So here V upon I equals to R. You can also write V equals to I into R. Or V upon R equals to R. Or I equals to V upon R. So here this Ohm's law. Now I will give one more trick, trick to you. So that you can remember the formula more easily. So now let's see what is that trick. So that here are, there are three things as we know there are three things that is potential difference which is denoted by V. Electric current which is denoted by I and resistance which is denoted by R. Right. Now here I have drawn a one triangle. V, I, I. So we have write all the three terms that is potential difference, current and resistance. Okay. Here V. Suppose we have this formula helps you to find out to, in a, to find out the numericals. Suppose you have given the question gives you two things. You have to find the third thing. If they have given you current and resistance, so you have to find the potential difference. If they have given you potential difference, and current you have to find the resistance. So this formula helps you to remember and to solve your numericals more easily. So here we go. So suppose potential difference. We have to find the potential difference. So how will we find? Here potential difference. So we, we will multiply these both. I into R. So this is the formula of taking out the potential difference. If we have to find out the potential difference, we will use this formula V equals to I into R. Now suppose we have to, now here we have to find three things I have drawn. Sorry. This is triangle. V I R. Now this is the case of potential difference. When we have to find the potential difference, we use this formula V equals to I R. Now we have to find the, suppose we have to find the current. So what we will find? So how will we do? I, we have to find current I equals to V upon R. Right? I equals to V upon R. We will divide it like potential difference here and resistance. So it will be divided and we have, we will we can get out here our current. Now the third thing is about resistance. If you have to find the resistance. So here, how will you find the resistance? Resistance equals to V upon I. 
So through it, we V divided by I potential difference upon current. So here we will find our resistance. So these are the three formulas through which we can solve our numericals easily. So these are V equals to I into R, I equals to V upon R, and R equals to V upon R. Through this, you can remember the formula easily. Now from this Ohm's law, we get two conclusions. From this Ohm's law, we get two conclusions. What are these conclusions? The first one conclusion is, current is directly proportional to potential difference. And current is inversely proportional to resistance. I will tell you. Here, see. From this Ohm's law, we get three, we get three formulas. Right? And we get two conclusions also. We get two conclusions also. So what are they? First is current is directly proportional to potential difference and current is inversely proportional to resistance. Here, current is directly proportional to proportional to potential difference. We can write PD also. And current is inversely proportional inversely proportional to resistance right so suppose i will explain you more elaborately suppose current is half right current is half so pd will also be half because it is directly proportional. And now uh, the questions will come like this. That current is half. If current is half then what will be your PD? PD will also be half. And how? Because current is directly proportional to P. If current is double. How will potential difference? Potential difference will also be double. Now we will come to here. Current is inversely proportional to resistance. If current is half. Resistance will become double because it is inversely proportional. If current is double, resistance will become half. So these type of questions will come in short answer type questions also. So, so friends, that's all for today. And I hope that you have understood Ohm's law very, uh, very elaborately and very correctly. So uh, we will take the resistance. We will. I will tell you about resistance of conductor and the numericals related to Ohm's law in my next videos.